Hey everybody, you're watching Skylands. My name is Bart and I'll be your host and pilot in command for this mission. Actually, I'll be your tour guide too. Uh, today we're going to explore the Long Pond Ironworks State Park located in West Milford, New Jersey. The Long Pond Ironworks is a historic village uh, called Hewitt. Um, it existed in the 1800s and was a settlement based around an iron mine. Well, there was many iron mine holes around here, but this one in particular is for the Long Pond Ironworks mine, which we're going to walk to and check out. There's a lot of remnants of it still available, um, but let's take a walk. So here's our first stream heading into Monksville Reservoir right down there. Here, take a look over there. So that is the remnants of a general store. And it's the first kind of structure we're gonna find on our way towards the mine. The general store existed for about 150 years um, before it was destroyed. Let's see, There's a, here's a sign marker here. The company store was a center of village life for over 160 years um, and containing not only a wide assortment of merchandise, it was also the post office and uh, Iron Company's bookkeeping office. Um, it looks like it was moved to another location in 1929 where it operated till 1955. Wow.
just saw the remains of an old furnace and two water wheels that were used to power it. But before we get into that, right now I'm standing by what used to be an ice house. Back before refrigerators were invented, ice used to be kept in large chunks in ice houses such as these. Ice would be cut into cubes and taken from here by wagons to be delivered to people all throughout the settlement. But what I really want to talk about is how they powered these furnaces to get hot enough to melt iron out of rocks. Let's talk about water power. Massive blast furnaces depended on a constant supply of air. To generate the energy, settlers used water from a nearby long pond. A dam was constructed at where Greenwood Lake is today, and a water sluice carried the water to one of the water wheels. As the wheel turned, a spoke would press down on a bellows, giving the furnace a blast of air, heating it to almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, thanks for watching. Tune in again next time. Subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Pilot in Command, signing off.